Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you how to calculate the volume of the concrete that is required for the staircases by using manual method. So initially, I will explain you how to take the dimensions of the staircases for the particular project. Then after that, I will explain you how to calculate the volume of the concrete that is required for the staircases by using manual method. So if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon so that you will notify if I upload any new video in my channel. So let's start our video. So this is my uh, elevation section for the staircases. It will be consisting of 20 number of the staircases here like this for this particular project. So in the downward direction, it will be consisting of the first half uh, which is consisting of the 10 staircases. Again for the second half, it will be consisting of the uh, another 10 staircases which is approximately equal to 20 numbers here okay so in this video i will cover you how to calculate the volume of the concrete that is required for this particular staircase so for this staircase it will be consisting of the concrete structures as three numbers so one is related to bottom waste slab and second one is related to top waste slab as well as third one is related to landing slab these three uh, concrete members are important for calculating the volume of the concrete okay so this is the plinth beam section which is considered for the particular project it is not comes under the staircase okay so these three cases are important here so for this staircase just i am considering the thickness of the waste slab is approximately equal to six inches now we can see the calculation six inches which is approximately of 150 mm here i am considering for this project okay so the first uh, landing slab which is consisting of the distance approximately five feet from the ground level which is approximately equal to 1.5 meter from the ground level again it will be consisting of the total length of this particular staircase is approximately equal to first landing approximately equal to uh, 15 feet which is of 4.67 meter here okay so this is the length as is as well as the, this is the height of this particular uh, waste slab first waste slab from the ground level in order to calculate the volume of the staircase we required the length of the waste slab into width of the waste slab into thickness of the waste slab this is the basic formula we have to calculate here but here we have the values which is related to width of the waste slab from this particular plan view so it will be consisting of 2.4 meter in the width direction if i divide this particular plan section into two offs so that it will get the values approximately 1.2 meter here okay so this is value is known to us and the thickness of the waste slab is approximately equal to 6 inches we will consider it as 0.15 meter here but we doesn't know the length of the waste slab so firstly we have to calculate the length of the waste slab that is our first task so according to Pythagoras theorem we can calculate the length of the waste slab now we can see the waste slab will be consisting of the uh, length here like this so this is the length of the waste slab so this is the length which is approximately given as 6.4.67 and height is approximately given as 1.5 we can easily calculate the length of the waste slab from here okay so the first task is to calculation of waste slab length so length of the waste slab calculation so which is equals to height square plus width square l equals to square root of height square plus width square okay so this is the width of this particular waste slab which is of 15 feet if you convert this 15 feet value to meter then it will be comes under the value approximately 4.67 meter and if you convert this 5 feet to meter then it will be comes under the value is 1.5 meter so if you uh, substitute these values in the height if you substitute the 1.5 meter and in the width if you substitute the 4.67 meter then it will get the value of 4.90 meters is the thickness of the waste uh, sorry length of the waste slab this particular length is 4.67 meter we have to consider here okay so again we have to calculate the uh, length of this particular waste slab also in the same way so the distance is same here okay 15 feet if i consider the 15 feet 4.67 uh, the height of the remaining waste slab is also consisting of 1.5 meter okay so in the same process of the Pythagoras theorem if you calculate the second waste slab is also comes under the length of 4.90 okay so the volume of the waste slab we have to calculate the next task okay so which is equals to length of the waste slab l into width of the waste slab w into thickness of the waste slab so here as per the calculation part which is obtained as the length of the waste slab as 4.90 meter 
So if you substitute this value, length of the wastage lab is 4.90 meter. Again, uh, if we, we need to substitute the width of the waste slab as uh, uh, 1.2 meter. Why? Because here you can see the width of the slab which is consisting of the 2.4 meter width. If I uh, uh, divide this particular 2.4 meter into two offs so that it can get the values approximately 1.2 meter for the first waste slab as well as the second waste slab. Okay. So this is the width of the waste slab which is approximately equal to 1.2 meter. Again, in the same process, we had to consider the thickness of the waste slab, which is approximately given in the diagram as 6 inches for the waste slab section. So, if I convert this 6 inches into meter, then it will become under 0.15 meter. So, this is a 0.15 meter value. So, if I uh, multiply this value of the length of the waste slab 4.9 into width of the waste slab 1.2 meter into 0.15 thickness of the waste slab, then it will get the volume of the concrete that is required for one single waste slab from here to here as approximately 0.882 meter cube. So this is the first part of the calculation for the waste slab volume of the concrete. So the second task of this particular project is uh, to calculate the landing slab uh, volume, volume of the concrete that is required for the landing slab. So basically this is the landing slab portion and this is the plan view for the landing slab. So it will be consisting of the width is approximately equal to 3 feet here. And length of this waste uh, landing slab is approximately 2.4 meter. I will draw the separate diagram here. Now we can see this is the 3D diagram for this particular uh, landing slab which is consisting of the width is uh, let us consider it as 1.2 meter. This is your 2.4 meter. Okay, if I consider these values, so then we can easily calculate the uh, volume of the uh, landing slab. So this is the length 1.2 meter. This is the width which is equal to 2.4 meter. Again the thickness which is approximately equal to the thickness of the waste slab which is of 6 inches here. Okay, so we have to consider the length of the landing slab, width of the landing slab, again thickness of the landing slab. So the length of the landing slab is approximately 1.2 meter and width of the landing slab which is approximately equal to 2.4 meter. Again the thickness of the landing slab which is approximately equal to 0.15 meter here. Okay, this is the 0.15 meter for the thickness of the landing slab. So if I calculate the volume of the uh, landing slab, then it will be get the volume, total volume of the concrete that is required for the landing slab is approximately 0.109 meter cube. Okay, this is the calculation part which is comes under the landing slab. So these are the two components which is related to this uh, uh, waste slab 1, waste slab 2 as well as the landing slab. Uh, calculation of the concrete. Now we have to calculate the total volume of the concrete that is required for this particular staircases. So for this we have two waste slab sections. One is at the top section as a, and other one is at the bottom section. This is the first section and this is the second section. Again we have considered the landing slab here like this. Okay. So we have to multiply the each landing slab. So this is the two two times okay so 0.882 is the volume of the concrete that is required for one single landing slab section okay again we have to multiply this 0.882 with 2 so that it can get the volume of the concrete that is required for the total uh, uh, waste slab section so plus if i sum this value of 0.109 meter cube which is related to the volume of the concrete that is required for the landing slab so that it can get the volume of the concrete is approximately 0 1.873 meter cube okay so this is the calculation total volume of the concrete calculation which is related to staircases so in this way we can calculate the volume of the concrete that is required for the particular project by using manual method so for calculating the volume of the concrete initially we need to know the length of the waste slab as well as the thickness of the waste slab and the width of the waste slab in the same process the thickness of the landing slab, length of the landing slab and the width of the landing slab. So if you know these values, we can easily calculate the volume by using length, width, height formula. Okay. So this is the complete process of calculation of volume of concrete which is required for the particular staircases example. If you have any queries about this video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that I will give you the answer for that questions. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates and civil engineering topics. Thank you.